Okay, so here's the clothing and the gear and the equipment I'm going to be needing for Aconcagua. I'm going to be actually packing two, two bags today. I've got two bags. I have my expedition bag, which will have all my climbing equipment. This is going to be my trekking bag for my hike. And this is going to be my day pack that I'll be wearing as, as we just go through the first four days. So as you can see here with my gear, I've got a variety of clothes. I'm going to probably start trekking in a pair of long pants, short sleeve shirt, visor. The mountain goes from very warm to very cold. And so I have got to have clothing for all conditions that I'll be on the mountain. I have a sleeping bag here that goes to 40 below zero. It's a down bag. I've got a sleeping pad and I have an inflatable pad. So I'll be sleeping on two layers of padding with my bag. You can see here my expedition mitts, how thick those are. Um, I, will, I will actually have these liner gloves on and another pair underneath. I'll have two layers on plus my expedition as I summit the mountain. Windproof mittens, need some windproof, some light. The winds on Aconcagua are horrendous, so a lot of my gear and my clothing is windproof and also will provide warmth. Um, water, you've got to stay hydrated. You've got to stay hydrated when you do this type of climbing on altitude. So I have three Nalgene bottles and then I also have a bladder just in case I need to have more water. Face wear, I'm going to be totally covering my face, total face gear. Um, goggles on top, you need to have eyewear because of the winds, so I will be in full, full goggles once I reach the top. Um, it's interesting, once we get to base camp and, and we are literally at camp three before the summit, we will throw on our expedition boots. This is a double layer boot. It's a boot inside a boot. And then as we uh, approach the mount, we will throw on a pair of crampons. And as you can see here, these are a step on crampon with, which, with my boot. I'll kick my boot in, clamp the boot on, and then I will have a crampon then to keep me close to the ice and snug to the mountain. A uh, helmet, you must have a helmet. As we summit the mountain, um, we will be going through a lot of scree and loose boulders. And so if, there, if there's many climbers on the mountain, we want to make sure if a boulder or a rock gets loose, we've got to be protecting our heads at all times. Ice axe, in case we're on a snow field, you slip, whatever that is, you need to be able to take the ice axe. Self-arrest, pop it into the snow and keep yourself from falling down the side of the mountain. Um, I've got numerous socks here. will be changing my socks. We'll be out on the mountain from 10 to 14 days. So you've got to keep your feet dry. And so I definitely have a variety of different layering systems there. Um, as a pack, as we get up higher to base camp, that's where we'll be shoving a lot of our gear and moving equipment up, moving our clothing, moving our, everything that we have up to the next camp and then coming back down to sleep. So this will be my expedition pack. This is my expedition coat, which will totally enclose me. So once again, I'll be protected from the winds and the dampness and the coldness that we'll be approaching. Foods, lots of food. <laughs> I don't want to go hungry on this mountain. You burn tremendous amount of calories when you climb mountains. And so for me, I know what works for me, and that is I need to nourish the body, I need to drink, and I need to eat. The more ca calories I consume, the more energy I'm going to consume. So I've got a variety of different types of foods that I can eat while we're climbing, and then as we get to camp that I can make warm soups or oatmeal or whatever. Headgear, um, in regards to headlamps, I have two different headlamps. Uh, I always have to have a headlamp for backup, so uh, two headlamps at all times with backup batteries. This actually is going to be the camera that I'll be taking um, from the places where our camera crews can't get with us. This is a four ounce camera. This is an HD camera and this is what I will be filming with my crew as we approach the summit where uh, the larger cameras can't be, can't be held. Diane, does this all make it seem real? You know, it's all coming together because everybody's here now and um, it's interesting. I'm starting to hear more English. I've been hearing Spanish for four days. So yes, it all seems real. I think everybody is getting comfortable now. I've had my gear check. I know I have everything. Now it's just time to pack it up and get to the mountain.